Alright, so I got mixed feelings regarding this chapter of Fairy Tale 350. I really liked the ending of the chapter, the way it went, where Doriarte was like, you guys opened Hell's Gate, and then that giant devilish bird comes and eat him, and I thought that was really mysterious, and it was really interesting. But the entirety of the chapter prior to that, I just really wasn't a big fan of. Ray versus Doriarte, and to me, to be honest with you, there was just no way that he should have won that battle. I understand everything the way it was structured. Pretty much the ice was his Achilles heel for whatever reason. It's unexplained at the moment. And then Gray channeled it. It just to me felt so convenient and all of a sudden now all it takes is this oh so there's ice. Let me use this ice and then grab the energy from it. If that was the case then why didn't he try to do something like that when they immediately got on this ice field? It's just like it felt very convenient and just like well we need to uh, combat this guy. Let's just do that. I said it already in a couple of videos I think it would have been much better if the Chibis would have combined together in order to pretty much take Dory RK down, do some sort of combo attacks on him, something like that. It would have been more uh, creative or something than just, well, the ice is speaking to me. I'm gonna absorb it. And then once again, diving into the lowly territory. This is like, I don't even know how many times in this arc we've gone that route. I thought we were finally done with ever seeing them again going into Chibi forms. And one last time, Hero had to make sure in case any perverts wanted to see any other characters, you know, if you wanted to see Carla as a chibi? Here you go! You get lowly Carla! Nobody wants to see Minerva, Flair, Lucy. Nobody wants to see them as chibi, lowly, creepy. No. Majority of the chapter, it was either A, just not really all that exciting, and B, it was just very convenient. It just didn't really gel well for me. The, the fight was just not how it should have been, or just, you know, it, it just felt too convenient. I mean, let's be real here. Gray is a little kid. He has no powers, and just he defeats him by touching this magical ice that seemingly conveniently is his Achilles heel. I'm sure we'll get an explanation about this ice. Maybe this ice is pure good, and he's from a dark guild, so it's automatically you know, bad against him. And those are my biggest gripes with this chapter because for the most part, it was a battle between Gray and Doriarte, him trying to figure out how to stop him and then everyone turning into lowlies and the jokes. I don't care to see Flair and lingerie as a freaking eight-year-old. And then what's up with Wendy not digressing? I know that she already has a little body, so I guess that little body is more than enough to like suppress the power because it's not that it de-ages them, it's just that it needs to have a body that is suitable for the amount of magic. So I guess it was all right for her to stay at that thing, but I would have assumed that it would have digress her body even further so that way the magic is decreased or something like that but whatever it doesn't matter so those were the parts of the chapter that i didn't really care for but the ending was something that really caught my eye and i was really interested in when doriarte was saying that they opened the gates the hell's gate and it makes me think okay did they do this upon entering this land is he talking about the previous arc when they were fighting when they destroyed the time machine exactly when was it that they opened up hell's gate because doriarte said it was specifically them that did it so that's something that was pretty interesting and it set up stuff for later that that, okay we might have a serious threat here and then exactly what the hell was that bird that giant thing that came and started eating Doriarte was he from the hell's gate is the hell's gate already open enough so any sort of demons can come through so a lot of that ending was definitely really good setup and really interesting stuff to come when we probably go up against Tartarus and whatnot but leading up to it it was just like no overall chapter again good ending really liked the ending but everything prior to it was just very convenient and just kind of yucky. I can handle 17 year old Lucy with giant tits, but get that fucking lowly nasty shit out of here. Hopefully with that ending, we got some really serious shit to come because right now Fairy Tail has been kind of going a bit slow. Okay, we're gonna fight some crazy demons or some shit. So I'm hoping that Fairy Tail really goes in that direction where it's a little bit more darker, things get a little bit more serious because past few chapters, while it's been solid, it's been a little bit like I guess on the boring side. I'm gonna give this one 5 out of 10 average. The main thing about this chapter that gets all the points is really the ending because it caught my eye. It was interesting and it's setting up stuff for, you know, some interesting stuff to come. But everything prior to it just really deducted a lot of points. And hopefully that means with Doriarte being eaten by this bird that we will no longer have to deal with any more of this lowly fan service bullshit. Let me know what you think. First of all, what do you think is in this ice, this ice magic that was able to like pretty much take Doriarte down that it was like his Achilles heel? Is there something really good in there? That is like, you know, polar opposite to him since he's in a dark guild and he's just like a monster. And when did they open up Hell's Gate? What is Hell's Gate? And what is this bird that came and started eating Doriarte? I'm imagining he's some sort of demon from the Hell's Gate, but what do you think? Your overall thoughts of the chapter, again, not a big fan of how great took Doriarte down. And fuck that lowly shit. That's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for some freaking crazy shit to come because now with Hell's Gate, we might get some serious shit and Fairy Tail is probably gonna start picking up in the interesting aspects because past few chapters, been alright. 
but it's just been a little bit on the boring side. But this one is definitely starting to see like we might get interesting stuff to come. I'm Fanet World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.